And so Amarone means the big dry wine. It might seem impossible, but the Jeep took me off the beaten path in one of the world's most famous wine regions. It was a long and curvy dirt road with no name. A road you can't find on Google. A road without a sign. A road that led to one place. We were on our way to the vineyard the Ugolini family uses to make their Amarone single vineyard crew. As the Jeep took us up higher along the dirt road with no name, I realized I'd never have gotten this far on foot. Why on earth would anyone plant a vineyard so hard to reach? Great wines come from great works in the vineyard, but the location of a great vineyard is just as important as the human hands that shape it. I felt like I was on a stairway to heaven. While the bottom of the vineyard impressed the eyes, the top view impressed the heart. They call the vineyard Valle Alta, or High Valley. It hangs on the southeastern facing slope of the valley at 840 feet above sea level. The high elevation allows the grapes to undergo wide thermal excursions. This is the difference between the high and low temperatures of the day. And when the low and high of the day are drastically different, say 80 degrees Fahrenheit, in the day and 55 degrees at night, this phenomenon promotes the production of aromatic qualities and polyphenols that produce complex flavors in the grapes. The soil is comprised of fossil marl that is millions of years old. The steep slopes allow excess water to drain away from the vineyard, forcing the vine's roots to climb deeper and deeper into the soils in search of water. It's this struggle for sustenance that gives birth to complex wine grapes needed for an age-worthy wine. And since the vines rest on such steep slopes, the espalier system of vine training is used to expose the grapes to proper sunlight. In various sections of the vineyard, you'll find native grape varieties like Corvina, Corvinone, Rondinella, or Seleta. The Amarone discipline requires 45 to 95 percent Corvina and or Corvinone and 5 to 30 percent Rondinella. The minor aromatic varieties like Oseleta cannot exceed 10 percent. In the Valpolicella there are many minor but native varieties that producers can choose from like Oseleta, Molinara, Croatina, Ancelotta and others. For Valle Alta Amarone, the Ugolini family makes use of four native varieties. Corvina Gentile or Corvina Veronese, which is the main grape of the blend and gives a generous amount of ripe red fruits with floral notes and a transparent red color. Corvina Grossa or Corvinone provides a spicy character and an excellent contrast with the fruit-forward Corvina Gentile. Rondinella gives another dimension of ripe fruit and herbal notes, more acidity, and a texture that's different from Corvina. And Oseleta, which adds pigment, richness, and structure. Like all of Ugolini's vineyards, the grapes are hand-harvested and hand-selected at the perfect moment of maturity at a very low 60 quintals per hectare, which is half of the legal amount allowed to ensure the highest grape quality possible. They are then placed in crates and transported back to the cellar. 
The grapes rest in these crates while undergoing a pasimento, which is the partial air drying of grapes. This process will go on about six months until the grapes have lost 50% of their original weight. A pasimento is an ancient tradition and known to intensify the flavors, textures, and aromatics in the wine. At this point, skilled workers and family members go through another hand selection process taking only the finest of the dried clusters and only those are used for making the Samarone. The grapes are then softly pressed and undergo fermentation. Since the sugar levels are high from the apacimento, the Amarone will arrive at a higher alcohol volume of around 16% on average. While the Amarone discipline allows for up to 9 grams of residual sugar in the wine, the Ugolini Valle Alta Amarone is typically less than 1 gram, which makes it a more traditional and classic dry style of Amarone not easily found among today's international fruit bomb styles. The wine ages in a combination of French barrique and large oak casks for 36 months and at least two years in the bottle before releasing to the public. The Ugolini family will age their Amarone and other wines as long as it takes in the estate cellar until the wines reach optimum drinking performance. They released their 2012 and 2011 vintages after the 2013 vintage, for example, at 9 and 10 years of cellar aging, respectively. Besides the single vineyard crew system with traditional organic farming, I found the Ugolini philosophy of winemaking to differentiate in terms of aging. They will age their Amarone 7 to 10 years in the estate cellar if need be, so that you don't have to age their wines in your cellar. The Valle Alta Amarone is capable of aging 20 to 30 years, depending on the vintage. The aromatics of this wine are seductive and are just as pleasing as the full-bodied and velvety textures that follow. Hints of red fruit jams and Verona cherries and mixed dried fruits stand out, with hints of sweet spices like tobacco, coffee, cocoa, licorice and nutmeg. The palate is graceful, elegant and soft with a never-ending finish but at the same time dry. The super ripe fruits on the front palate with the dry finish is what gives this wine its eternal name, Amarone. The Valpolicella is rich in history, ingenuity, art, and wine culture. Just like the Marone that protect its priceless landscapes, the Ugolini family has a mission to protect the traditions of the region in a profound way. Not just by making great wine, but by weaving wine with the creative works of humankind. Placing wine at the centerpiece of history so we can see what ancient people saw, taste what they tasted, and feel what they felt. In this way, we can share the timeless ritual we call the celebration of life.
Pulis Pulis Cele, the Valley of Many Cellars, has attracted those who seek treasure through wine throughout the ages. While its reputation will stir debate into the future, the Va Policella name is cemented into the stones of wine history forever. If wine is life, then the Va Policella is the cosmos. So sip and you shall find. I'm Tony Margiata, and I'll see you next time on the next episode of Italy's Best Kept Wine Secrets. Oh.